booze and banter. Hi, Frank. Hey, Roman. How are you? I'm good. Not like really, really good. We're Just good because we're done with the work week? Yes. <laughs> that was very it, sensual. It, you know, fuck this last week. I mean, really all, all week for that matter. <laughs> right now, right now, I care about what we're drinking. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's do that. What do we got? We have single cut. Now, it's not single cut brewery. It is a brewery, but it says single cut beer smiths. Mm-hmm. And we're drinking the Frequency Lager. Yes, I got some info on this beer because these are too small to read. <laughs> I'm getting old. Uh, Frequency Lager, a lager built for true lovers of crisp, <laughs> clean, and easy drinking complexity. Glad you put that in there, not like us for true lovers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Locally sourced malts, classic European hop buds, horizontally laggard. What does that mean? Uh, it's laggard in a horizontal manner. <laughs> <laughs> we got to talk about your certification. You should yeah, know yeah. this shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, for months on end and left gently um, unfiltered for a rustic finish, lightly floral with clean cereal grain and spicy citrus hop zip. Savor one or, or sling a few. It's all good when you're dealing it. Does it say citra hop? Dialed in. Um, it's citra hop? Like two sentences ago? Citrus hop. Yeah, so citra hop is the most popular hop because I know that from my studies. Mm. And the U.S. is the biggest hop producer in the world. This is important. It won silver medal in 2021 at Great American Beer Festival. Mm -hmm. ABV 4.7% and IBU 10 What's IBU stands for? International Bitterness Units. Ah. Yeah, bitches. Let's open this because it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we're going to start with these new glasses. We'll try these things out. All right. You know, but you'll notice, Roman, that these are not chilled. Did you notice that? I did notice that. And I'll tell you why. Because and, in my studies, I also learned. Okay. Watch this. This is going to be fucking perfect, too, because I know what's happening here. Oh, who's the um, fucking pro now? Oh, some bitch, uh, some bitch. Oh, I guess. <laughs> look at that. And the beautiful, because you do one little head, right? I'm going to need a beautiful. fucking cigarette after this one. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. So fucking cool. I like I see. Color. Look at how cool that is. Yeah. It's almost like in the ad. Yeah. Right? Cheers. So, yeah, I'll tell you. I heard the foam in the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> um, This is pretty good. Wow, this is really good. I, I know all kinds of weird shit now. Okay. Let's, like, let's hear you're it. supposed to pour it at a 45 degree angle yes, until it gets three correct. quarter full. And then you do a little inch ahead. Uh -huh. but there's also um, beer clean glasses. See, this is beer clean. Okay. Because there's nothing sticking to the sides and there's no mm -hmm. bubbles. But um, I saw that you're not supposed to serve beer in a frosted mug that's been icy. Like, you could put it in there for like, you know, a minute or two, whatever it is. But it, when it when it's cold like that, that creates more foam, and it also retains the CO two, so you feel fuller. Well, I'm gonna debunk that because you and I were pouring in the same chilled glasses, and mine would not have as much head as yours. Yeah, because you pour slower. No. Yeah. I pour with skill. You do not pour with skill. <laughs> you do not pour with skill. But anyway, so <laughs> we got to get ready because everybody's in for a treat because this is the beginning of our pound round. Pound oh, round yes. number three. And beer one. Yeah, pound round number three. Okay. It's starting. All right. Now, you know, you got to close your eyes for a minute. Oh, geez. I won't put anything in your mouth this time. Just close your eyes. I have to open my mouth? And if I want to open, it'll get open, but just... <laughs> You can't open your eyes until I tell you. Are you going to touch me? No, I'll be on the side of the table. It's okay if you I won't touch, touch you above the table. <laughs> <laughs> All right? So just close your eyes. I'm scared. You don't, don't be scared. Just close your eyes. I'm, I'm not How long over. is this going to be? Uh, 30 seconds. Do I need to talk about something while you're gone? You could play the Jeopardy music. <laughs> Do -do. Hey, don't open your eyes, okay? Okay, I'm not. <laughs> All right, I'm not opening yeah, my eyes. Are you in the room? Yeah. I'm still talking right. to you, fucker. 
Well, I don't know. <laughs> Nervous. Now I'm ready for powder on. Open your eyes. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm fucking geared up now. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is fucking perfect. Isn't it? <laughs> this is fucking perfect. Except like it looks like a sad Viking. Like his, <laughs> his horns are down. I'm wearing a mask. I'm wearing a Viking mask that someone sent me as a gift. <laughs> For the people that don't watch the YouTube. I didn't expect that. But how cool is this? Those like, are like and I, and I look like a Viking, right? Oh man, now you're still a drink? Viking with the beard and everything. Mm -hmm. is it, does the mask fit around the glass? Uh, what do you mean? Like I gotta put it over the glass? No, I'm like, is it interfering? No, oh, I'm fine. Look at you! You got a helmet, and I got a fucking bald head. Yeah, well, that's kind of, that's warriorish. Yeah, we're both warriors. But I can't really put these headphones on now. Now, so now what's missing is we need the fucking what do you call those horns? We got ale horns. Yeah. Remember? Remember we got a sticker on the sticker board for ale horns. You can drink out of them? Yeah. All right. How can I didn't really like it, though, because it tastes like plasticky. Mm. But, yeah, so I'm not fucking around anymore. This came from a buddy, from, from, yeah. our, friend, from our friend Phil. Um, Phil. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't see know his why the post, horns are down uh, like this. Mm -hmm. Like I, could, I think he imagined holding you like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this is the zipper opening right here. <laughs> Do I have to wear this whole fucking time? I don't know. That was that was your decision. I don't know if I can Feel because high? no, because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to slam beers. Why not? Is, is it interfering? Feels like it. You can tilt your head. Well, do I sound nasally though? Like no. Do I look cool? I don't know. Well, let, I'd fucking wear one of these things so, if I was in battle. Excuse me. For sure. We'll let our viewers uh, decide. Yeah, <laughs> and you can wear it next. It probably it, it, it like it'll probably slide off your bald head. Opening though. here, yeah, the, these this line, uh -huh. it like matches. It goes directly to where the sides of your mouth is. Yeah, and then look it's at as if that was molded. I on could your do head. this. I could fan it out. Mm -hmm. So again, for people that aren't going to watch the YouTube video, I'm wearing a a Viking helmet mask that, I, that was sent to us for yeah. this pound round with 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 the horns pointing down. Yeah, it is. It's kind of their handles. <laughs> their handles. <laughs> This beer is good. Yeah, it is good. Um, I have some info on it. It is good. You're still pouring out of it? No, I just want to make sure I got it all. Um, I have about the brewery. So Single Cut Beer Smith was founded by Queens, New York City-born music-obsessed brewer Rich Busetta. <laughs> <laughs> whose lifelong passion led to a place where hops and vinyl could shine side by side. After years of home brewing and professional uh, stints around New York City, Rich was true to his dream, diving headfirst into a brewing world. Uh, Rich, quote, um, My obsession is creating original hop-driven beer, distinguished by a firm respect and admiration for West Coast pioneers and bending that to a East Coast New York City in interpretation. So since opening in 2012 and with the help of an equal, talented and devoted team, Single Cut has gained a loyal following throughout the East Coast most respected market. What were they on uh, Instagram? <clears throat> Did you look them up? Yeah, we're, we're, we're following them. They're single single cut beer. No, like how many followers do they have? Oh, like forty eight thousand or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Slightly less than us. <laughs> 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 I wish. No, good for them. Maybe their followers can follow us. We got to get to three thousand. I mean, I'm ho I'm hoping for twenty eight hundred, but yeah. The more well, we're followers, not far, are we're not far. We're at twenty seven, almost tw twenty seven eighty five, almost twenty eight. Yeah. But um, the more followers we get, the better prizes we give. Mm -hmm. You know. It boils down to always demanding greatness, never com compromising, and always play it at maximum volume. So he's a musician. Does it say what uh, type of music? Uh, it does not. There's a microphone. There's oh, Gibson cool. guitar. I used to have a electric Gibson guitar. You played it? I was trying to learn how to play. 
By yourself, teaching yourself? Mm-hmm. It's like, um, but uh, that was tough. I want to do the drums. I'm going to um, buy an acoustic guitar and uh, see if I can learn. I feel all kinds of fucking burpees things coming up here now. Like in my throat. Oh, you looked at the screen. I'm like, well, <laughs> it's black and I can see my reception. <laughs> Your reception? No, reflection. <laughs> I get good reception with my reflection. <laughs> this is a good Halloween costume, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Are you going to go full, like, all out? Yeah, I'd do it. Next Halloween. I'm wearing a fucking thong. <laughs> <laughs> but backwards, because it's bigger. No, I don't think anymore. they wore underwear back then. It cool. Was, it was like a cloth wrapped around your waist. Do it. It's probably just like and a cloth. And a skirt. No, just a skirt. It's a cloth slash napkin. Like, they use the same thing for when they eat. Let's do it. I'm going to be a, a like a Spartan. And yeah, you could be like a toga. And then, no. You know I wore toga for Halloween when I met my wife? Yeah, you you said that. I did. I think you said it on here. And then um, for this next Halloween, I'll just be like a Spartan warrior and you'll be Viking. And you could be like, you could put like the little, whatever that Caesar, whatever that green thing was. I mean, it's probably no, some sort like of the, crown, but it looked gold, like a branch. The gold leaves. I thought they were green. It's like, no, it's like these branches and they're, it's, it's like a crown, I guess. Oh, this <clears> mask <throat> is making me but gasp. Off. I can take it off. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um. Yeah, that'll be fun. We can do that. I'll go all out with the whole fucking mohawk <laughs> helmet <laughs> with your real hair. No, grow your real hair in a mohawk. No, like the the Spartan like warrior helmet. With oh yeah, yeah. Mohawk. I've seen those people wear them on like four wheelers. <laughs> <laughs> they got like the like a regular helmet, yeah. You know, like your regular helmet and everything. Oh, like the, and, the and rubber got, plasticky ones. It's it's uh no, it's like it's like really fine looking. I mean, it's not real hair, but like when you're riding on your four wheeler, uh-huh. it, it like moves, huh. and it's like in a little ponytail. You should do that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm done. <sighs> so we gotta talk about the your certification. Mm-hmm. But I need another beer. Grab me one too. One of those little Look at these. Little stainless steel uh, ice cubes. Oh. <laughs> what was that? What did you hit your? Did you hit your? Did you hit your earphone? <laughs> uh, uh, Maybe you should have the Viking helmet. I wanted to shake it near my ear to hear like if there's the liquid inside. Uh, and I whack myself in the. It's either a liquid or a gel. I'm not really sure what these things are. I'm going to go two for two for those listeners out there to give a shit about how I pour a beer. Look at that fucking thing. See, I know I what's going on. The only listener now. that gives a shit is Tabby. Yeah, well, she's important to me, although you're her favorite, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take her husband. I'm sensing jealousy. <laughs> I don't know. Who, it might change after seeing this helmet. Oh, that's, that's fucking true. sexy, man. That's true. Mike, I know he's going to want to hold those horns. You should have taken your shirt off and then put the fucking thing on. I could do that, but then I can wear those temporary tattoos and then my we'll, nips. We'll just, we'll just ask Augustine to do like a blurred out. <laughs> put our logos. Oh, our, our face. Put our, <laughs> put our face on each nipple. <laughs> Censored. Yeah. He did a good job in the one video we fucked up. We did this for people who don't see the YouTube videos. We, we were drinking with the first... Um, podcast with friends and we didn't we didn't click record on the video for the first like 28 minutes (laughs) so our our editor took a um whoa whoa that was like a like a chewbacca he took a a still image of us and every time we talked he would vibrate our image and we were outlined in orange to indicate (laughs) we were talking and then he said you know you can catch us at the 28 something mark so yeah but that was a um drunk fest so whatever so my drunk fest uh, yeah, my uh, certification. Oh yeah. Tell so us, that's tell we're us talking about your certification. We're talking about all this information that probably. First people. of all, what is the title? I am a certified beer server now. Okay. Through Cicerone.org. And that is a step before you become a Cicerone. Yep. So there's there's a, a few hundred thousand. When you become a Cicerone, I'm going to call you Chicheron. Yeah, <laughs> Chichi. You know what Chichi? <laughs> but the the Cicerone one, there's like. Maybe 140,000 of them. Cicerone 2 is an advanced Cicerone. Certified Cicerone is number one, level one. Wait, when you say 40,000 Cicerone. So certified beer servers are, is a couple hundred thousand people. In the world? Or, yeah. Or? 
And then certified Cicerone oh. is level one. There's like 140,000 of them. Hold on. You're or going level, too sorry, fast. Sorry, level two. Fuck. You're going too fast. No, you I'm not. You got to soak this in first. You said certified beer servers are how many thousand? A couple hundred thousand. A couple hundred thousand. In the world. In the world. In the world. World. Eight billion people. World. Frank is number 200,000. <laughs> 7.9 billion. <laughs> but that's cool, right? Yeah, that's cool. Eight billion people, and, and you're one of the fucking couple hundred thousand. And then, well, again, I'm not sure what the number is for that. It's just when you go to Cicero, certified Cicero, which is level two, mm -hmm. that's 140, 150,000, somewhere around there. And then advanced Cicero, which is level three, is like 4,500. And then you go to master Cicero, which is level four, there's only like 22 or 24 people in the world with that. In the world. Wow. Yeah, and this is like a 10-year-old program maybe. Wow. But like you look and they said it's an extremely hard test. I mean. In the world of beer. The world of beer. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't I don't know if I'm going to do anything else farther than this. I mean, it's pretty intense. It's not like, I mean, everybody thinks they know a lot about beer and a lot of people do. But these, these questions were, you know, a, a little more intense than I thought they were going to be. But. It is hard work. I mean, I've, I think we've asked someone about what it took to become a Cicero, like the, the first level of Cicero. And they said it was a lot of studying. Like it's, it was that easy. Scott at Trip Hammer? No, I thought we asked someone. It was someone on Instagram. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Who was that? I don't remember. I don't, I don't, there's not a lot of But people. we have few followers who are yeah. Cicerones. Um, there's one woman, she, um, she's part of that. Beer Babes family? Beer Babes yeah, family. fucking nailed it. She has red hair. Who's like, a Beerkowski? Yes, yes. Yeah. Man, you're good. I know. You should see me in bed. <laughs> that certification. <laughs> you should see me in bed. You yeah. said, <laughs> with a Viking helmet. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, I mm -hmm. like listening to her like um, facts about beer. Yeah. yeah. So once in a while, she does. She does like a beer education or whatever. Yeah. She. Um, I mean, so I don't know how many people are in that that kind of family, that beer babes family. They're yeah, they're growing. Fast, but they uh, they get to hang out together also. We got some of their stickers. Yep, we are certified beer baits. It's we? on it's on the stickers in the oh, beer vault. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice. <laughs> that's true. Um. So, yeah. Quick joke. Oh. Um. What was uh, David Bowie's last hit? The ground. He died. Probably heroin. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. I've heard other stories about him. Have you yeah. heard other stories? No. Uh, I believe it was him. And, I, I, and, and if you're talking about snoring a line of no, 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 pants, that was that was that was Ozzy. <laughs> no, I'm talking about. I thought in the '80s or so mm -hmm. that he had the rumor was he had to get his stomach pumped because it was full of cum. What? <laughs> yeah. You oh, thought what? you were the only one that had that done? No. <laughs> There is. There is more. <laughs> no, that was the rumor. So I don't know if it's true or not. I never really uh, fact That's a rumor. That. So we're not going to spread any rumors. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought that's what it was. Who do you think did more drugs? David Bowie or Ozzy? Ozzy. Really? I probably still doing drugs. David Bowie's <laughs> been dead for a while. I know, but like in I think Keith life, Richards uh, got them all beat, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Keith Richards yeah. looks like someone's old grandma. <laughs> he, he's done so many drugs that, like, he's he's um, what, what is it? He's smoked. Like when you smoke your meat, so yeah. it doesn't get like any germs and shit. That's what he is. He's like he's, he's like, jerky. No, he's Keith Jerky. <laughs> <laughs> he's Keith Jerky. That's what he is. Uh, music is good though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw a video of him with his shirt off and a, on a balcony. I'm like, what is going on there? Oh, it looks like melted smoked. wax. Like, bleh. Oh, <laughs> do you think Wax Museum has a statue of him? I think so. Have you seen those videos where people go into wax museums, but the real person is actually yeah. standing yeah. in its place? I saw I saw somewhere in Disney, Johnny Depp did this as, as Captain Jack Sparrow. When? I don't know. I don't know if it was Florida. It's probably California. Years ago. Yeah, because now there's oh, like, years there's, ago. now there's like a divorce, you know. But well, he's oh, a good one, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Should put that in the mic. I just thank myself. Uh, <laughs> you talking to yourself? Yeah, thanks, Frank, for being Frank. Um, 
Yeah, I think he's asking Disney for apology, and I don't think they're gonna give it to him. I think they should. I think they should because I want another fucking out. movie. Do you yeah, watch those? Gonna, oh yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. You watch all of them? Mm-hmm. Why the fuck is my nose itching? Do I got like hairs fucking poking up here? No, it's probably stupid that, fucking um, beard. It's probably that made in China mask you just put on. No, that, no, that was that was made in in the U.S. That's authentic. <laughs> <laughs> it was real. They found it. They Molded dug it up from the original. <laughs> they dug it up from Alaska. It was in the uh, the what's that called? The um, oh fuck me. What's that called when it's frozen? Oh, I see it on on Gold Rush. When it's what? It's permafrost. They found it in the permafrost. Ah, I did see on one of those Alaska Gold Rush things. Mm-hmm. It wasn't Alaska. It is Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're Gold Rush. It isn't. They found a woolly mammoth body, like like this oh, last yeah. season. I believe it. Like a baby. Wow. And they, you know. That's I, huge. I think they got kind of ripped off because they gave it to some museum, but then someone else came and offered them like a million dollars after mm-hmm. they already given it or something. I heard a while back that uh, China was trying to take some extinct animals and use, like, find their DNA to replicate them. So uh, we talked about the white rhino. Your Your son was right. Yeah, when it was extinct, the male. So there's two females. I think a mother and a daughter. Mm-hmm. And I just read that they they got semen or some DNA, whatever, from some other rhino type of rhino. And um, oh, I can't. I don't. Remember, I wasn't prepared for this. I forget. But they either took the they either took a white rhino DNA and implanted it into this other rhino mm-hmm. or they've taken the other rhino and have planted it into the two remaining female rhinos i think it's the other way i think they've taken white rhino dna mm-hmm. i think that's what it is they've taken white rhino dna because they got two alive mm-hmm. and they implanted it into some some other like southern rhino uh-huh. and i think it is i think the animal's pregnant but now they're trying to see how they can get it into the white rhino but I don't know how you got to be removed because otherwise there's like incest things going on here, right? Those, uh, maybe I don't know. I don't know how it is with animals. Those rhinos are are guarded by, by park rangers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ranger. Ah, rangers. Raider, rangers of the Lost Ark. Rangers. <laughs> I'm done. By the way, number two. Good, because I think I think I'm seeing this fake plant growing. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, let's let's just fucking. Cover this up, bro. Holy no, cow. No one sees anything. Yeah. <laughs> Tabby. No, she's drunk Tabby. right now. <laughs> Tabby, that's quite a head. <laughs> no, she doesn't know what's going on. It's She She took a piss break. <laughs> I hope she didn't have to go down the stairs. But look at that. It's perfect. Hey, what did what did the elephant say to the naked man? You you breathe that little thing? <laughs> How do you breathe that little thing? <laughs> <laughs> I could write these fucking jokes. You could. Yeah. You could. I mean, you're pretty fucked up on the head, so. We need to get in some other jokes that are. Um... Why do women always uh, have sex with the lights off? I don't know. Because they never like to see a man having a good time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. We're in trouble. <laughs> um, so I've also learned all kinds of things like, oh, interesting. These glasses. Mm-hmm. Which are beer clean, by the way. Um, so did you know these pint glasses, they call them shaker pints. And so this is all, this this whole test thing is like, you've got to know like processes and cleaning and beer styles and mm-hmm. and beer glasses. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty intense. You really. had to do homework. You yeah, I study, I study for, for it, but you yeah. know, a couple of days, but you're, you come in with base knowledge, but that's why it's the first mm-hmm. level. But So you these, have this podcast to, to thank for. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know you. I, I thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm, I'm right. giving you a virtual hug right now with my lips. Mm. Oh, it's not wet. <laughs> not there. <laughs> Don't wipe your face off. My son walked up to me today and he touched my head. He goes, oh, it's like smooth. <laughs> He's like, why is it so sticky? <laughs> Ew. Ew. I, said, I said, I put lotion on. Oh, <laughs> your head's sticky. Well, I, put, I had to put lotion on. Why? Well, I don't know. For the first time, my bald head's exposed to your fart air. <clears throat> you've got you've got to uh, condition it now. You got to moisturize it to not get sunburn. Oh, you have to wear that wig. I have to wear <laughs> more sunscreen now. Yeah, see, that's not economical. They have the sunscreen um, 
it turns blue when it's exposed to sun. <laughs> if I put that on my head, I'll be like, blue man. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blue man group. Yeah. Like, you look like, <laughs> like Papa Smurf's dick. <laughs> <laughs> like the hair ran on the other side of his fucking shaft. Did you see the, the comment uh, about the KY gel in no. our group chat? The the Patreon subscribers of... Uh, no. The the Grace Tavern. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't realize what that was. Yeah. But there's a bunch of pictures of things, right? Well, I was like, can I put that on my bald head? And then yeah. I was like, oh, what are they going to think? Yeah. <laughs> and Mike said, oh, yeah, sure. And yeah. Then, so I did the gif of the bald guy. Right. Yep. No, I saw, yeah, I thought, um, I didn't realize what it was. But, uh, All right. No inside jokes. People know what we're talking about. Um, you said you learned a bunch of shit from this 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 course. Well, I was talking about these glasses. They're called yeah. shaker pints. Shaker pints. These were not originally made for beer. What were they made for? Doorstops? The, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm, I'm going to start a podcast with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my dog? Let's get Finn down here. <laughs> no, these are the same glasses they use for like martinis and shit. You know, that metal thing where they, they shake it like the... Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what these are for. So I learned that, and I'll tell you the guy, but I learned that um, these were just always available to bartenders mm -hmm. because they would make those drinks. So now they started using these. That's why they're there. So they'll just use this for shaking and then pouring it. Yeah, like actual. a martini or some bullshit. But uh, I have a question. There's like so many different glasses for beers. Did you have to study what they're all... Yeah. Not all of them. Okay. Not all of them, but excuse me. There's um, there's quite a, there's quite a bit. What did um, Scott from Trip Hammers call this uh, butt plugs glasses? Remember? <laughs> not these glasses. <laughs> not these. That's not yeah. the ones. Yeah, no, not these ones. <laughs> what the fuck if that's a butt plug. This is Roma's butt plug. I mean, okay, and you guys can thank me for that, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's why my horn's upside down in the mask. <laughs> it was right side up, but Rome is a squirmy little fuck. <laughs> You're a squirmy little fuck. No, I told you, they're sad Viking ones. They, they were happy. And then I saw you naked, and the horns went... <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> what the fuck is happening, bro? Sorry. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> you like you got me to thank for that. <laughs> it's a service I provide people. Oh man, you know I I think sometimes I laugh too much. <laughs> I feel like the entire episode's like me fucking laughing. Yeah, but we we have these fucking work weeks we have, and the pressure goes on in our lives. And like, now we just kind of like let loose. <sighs> yeah, it's um and that that's how I let loose. I just <laughs> threw laughter. <laughs> I just kind of fart sometimes, but <laughs> um, yeah, so. So there are, there, there are, thank you. And there are lots of glasses for these. And, yeah. and is there a reason why they're all different shapes? There is. So the, um, I mean, this is called the body of the glass. I mean, I'm not going to bore people with all this bullshit, yeah, yeah, but like yeah. body of the glass and the head of the glass. So like uh, sizes, like size matters when it comes to <laughs> glasses for alcohol. Like, so you see these uh, uh, imperial stouts that are high alcohol mm -hmm. and you got those little glasses, you know, the little glasses with the stem, like tulip glasses. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you, you put your finger in, like, here's the base. Yeah, yeah, like and, a wine glass. And you hold it like this because you're supposed to warm it up a little bit. But the uh -huh. smaller glasses, because this thing's probably fucking 10% alcohol, you don't want to give them a 16-ounce glass of 10% alcohol. But the shape of the mouth mm -hmm. is supposed to be for the aroma. So if you have a smaller uh, circumference at the top, mm -hmm. then it concentrates the aroma. It, it traps their Yeah, I mean, a lot of this glass. program is based on, like, appreciation and, like, yeah. what you're doing. And, like, it's really a pretty good That's deal. Good. But the Cicerone, the certified Cicerone piece, I have to take a um, – it's a it's a three-hour – if I choose to do this, it's a, it's a three-hour written class, written exam. Mm -hmm. And then um, – Two hours? Three. Three hours. And then it's 45 cheat? minutes of tasting. No. Can't and this was, this, was, this was not open book either. Like, none of this is open book. So where do you go to test? So I looked. There's one in New York in March, but uh, someone oh, yeah. like me, it's going to take... You, so you go to a facility, you sit down, you mm -hmm. get a pencil. And then you get three hours. But then there's also 16 beers for the tasting portion. Uh -huh. And then there's a demonstration after that. Wow. Like That's the demonstration is like you might be like, you know, how to how to clean a faucet, a, a, a faucet or a, um, uh, how to assemble, you know, um, 
or how to tap a keg or something like this. I mean, whatever it is, but you, nobody knows there's all these different things. So, but it's pretty expensive and I don't know that it really benefits. Maybe I'll just read up on this shit so I can know what's going on. Our listeners could pay for it if they can support us. If we have yeah, enough subscribers, fuck, if we have enough subscribers, five bucks a month on Patreon. If we get enough, we can at least, all right, let's n- f- fuck this GoFundMe page. Go, go, go frank me. Go, fr- <laughs> <laughs> go on Patreon and subscribe so that we can fund Frank to get his sister. Well, what about you? Are you gonna do the? Are you gonna do a, a well, certified beer server? It depends on how many subscribers we have. I so you're one step ahead of me, so I'd rather invest in you. Well, but I'll, I'll wait and we can catch up and do it together. That's okay. Um, so if all of our fucking Instagram people just were to fucking can get a fucking beer. Oh yeah, beer beer server. I'm a certified beer server. <laughs> if our Patreon subscribers or all Instagram sup- sup- subscribers all were to um, tell one of their friends to subscribe to us. Are you starting a pyramid scheme? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just talking about just, just follow us on Instagram. That gets us to oh, the one yeah, level. Yeah, that's free. But if, if, if we can, so like, let's say that if we could get to 3,000 Instagram Followers, three thousand, right? By, let's say April first. Mm-hmm. No, we gotta do it quicker than that. Okay, we'll say April first. If we can get to three thousand, then I will pursue the certified Cicerone thing. But uh, you know, these people, I understand they they don't give a shit. It doesn't matter if if we do or not. But <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was primal. That came from where? Where part of your body did that come from? <laughs> From my diet. Oh man! <laughs> I hope everybody heard that. <laughs> but I, you know, I understand. So you know, if, if people people don't care if I'm a cicerone, that's fine. But we still need to get to you know three thousand for um, our giveaway. Yeah. And we haven't decided what we're giving away. Wait. No, but I've decided on beer three, right? Beer four. Yeah. Beer thirty. That's your fourth one. Good. Might be five or six after that room. I don't know. Quick <laughs> beer server. Man, you've been practicing. I'm so huh? fucking impatient. <laughs> you like Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> that that your <laughs> that's your fourth beer? Yeah, but at least his head goes away. You have to throw this inside. What's that mean? Why do we have to do that? You throw that inside and then you then I gotta clean it. No, no, then I'll fucking swallow it and I'll choke and die. Oh, Is that what you want? That. No. <laughs> it's like um it's like the worm in tequila. <laughs> yes, but this is much bigger than that. I mean, this would be loose on your pecker, but it's still yeah. much bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? Well, it's yeah. disturbing. No, it's. I got to tell my wife to stop spreading rumors. <laughs> it's not a rumor. <laughs> she's, not. she's giving you too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this, what? This, this what, head goes way quick. What did the cannibal do after he dumped his girlfriend? This has to do with shit. Because <laughs> yeah, he ate her and he pooped her out. What so. did the cannibal do when he dumped his girlfriend? Wiped his ass. That's right. Did he really? <laughs> Motherfucker. I hate telling you jokes. <laughs> I'm just thinking like, I've never heard of that either. Like, it's got to be something like, because you say dump. You know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's what a Viking would do. Did I ever tell you, so I was watching this. Cannibal Viking? This Vikings, um, it was a Vikings series on TV. Mm-hmm. In one of the first couple episodes, Ragnar, they're kind of like in the in the in, in a patch of weed somewhere, like a bunch of people. Spoiler alert! It's fucking twenty years old. I don't know who cares. Kind of, <laughs> but uh, they're in the. the Some you know, people haven't seen Titanic. It's him and well, the, the boat sinks. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and, uh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> they uh, they're like there's like him and like two or three other people. They're like it'd be like me, you, and like. You know, Carlos and Craig. <laughs> like, I'll be Ragnar. Okay. And so they're all sitting there, like in this patch of weeds. It's like maybe, you know, two or three feet tall grass. And the, the three guys are talking. And all of a sudden, Ragnar stands up behind them, and like he was like taking a shit or something in the weeds, <laughs> <laughs> but like only like a couple of feet away. Like. <laughs> but that's just what they did. Apparently, I mean, <laughs> anybody got toilet paper? <laughs> I do that with you, you Carlos and Craig. Yeah, what, what what did they do back then? How did they wipe their ass? Oh, Poison what? Ivy. 
poison ivy. <laughs> no, I think they just use a leaf like people do it now. <laughs> and I don't think they did a good job, by the way. It's probably a defense mechanism. Like, you know, animals would come near you like when you're sleeping next to your fucking little fire pit and like a, something would come and be like, ugh, that guy smells like shit. So they don't want to eat you. Like bears and stuff. You think that's what they did? Or like maybe there was a gay Viking. He's like, I'm not going to get near that. It smells terrible. They had to be gay Vikings, right? Well, maybe being gay that's something. So, that's so born, there right? had to be gay Vikings because, yeah. well, I don't know if there had to be. But in the. <laughs> what the hell is going on with you? I know there's like another person inside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's your fucking predator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? In uh, in, Vi- <laughs> in Vikings, there was um, his wife, uh, Lag Lagertha, mm. Catherine Winnick, Catherine Winnick, and <laughs> <laughs> why you pause? What the fuck? Why did you just make that piece? Like, I said she's hot. Yeah, she's she's pretty hot. Yeah, she's a very fine looking um human. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> I'm not, I feel like I'm you're going to grow fangs and fucking bite me or something with those sounds. <laughs> yeah, if there's so much fucking life in blood, why don't they suck semen? There's lots of fucking life in that. Yeah, there is. <laughs> but Lagertha, so she turns into a lesbian or doesn't turn into, becomes a lesbian. Okay, well, that's fine. So yeah. there had to be guys that did it too. Oh, I'm sure. Or fucking scared goats. <laughs> there's got to be. I mean, back then, no internet. Sometimes, a couple dudes are like, "Hey, you gotta like hold, just try something." Maybe it was Keith Jerky. <laughs> <laughs> Keith Jerky. <laughs> Maybe moisten that. See what yeah. happens. <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't know. So there's lots of things that like I always think about being like a homesteader, right? Homesteader, or homesteader, like. Mm-hmm. It, it, the world's fucked up for all of us. I mean, it, you know, we talk about things on this podcast, politics, like the world is just a fucked up place. Mm-hmm. But you're constantly paying taxes, you got to pay gas, you got all this other bullshit, like, just like, ah, uh, you know. <laughs> Did you see my lift move? Yeah, I don't know. No, I think I it's your move. pucker hole going. Wah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Hang on. laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I think they had lunch in it. Just lost five subscribers. <laughs> no, we'll get ten more because they're equally as fucked up as we are. <laughs> but they, um, uh, I was saying something about something, and then something Access. came up, and I said, "Bam!" And it was, oh, what was it, Roman? That's no good. I can't remember that. All right. Well, what does tofu? And- <laughs> <laughs> what does tofu and dildo have in common? Mm-hmm. They are both meat substitutes. Oh, God. <laughs> I saw another term for a vagina. Oh, what's that? Meat sleeve. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like a hot pocket. You heard of hot pocket. Yeah. Beef curtains? Yeah. That's what we used to call roast beef sandwiches. Mm-hmm. Our boobs are like sweater meat. My, <laughs> my friend that we used to, uh, so there was a place in Syracuse called Clark's, you know. Yeah, yeah. Clark's, yeah. yeah. Uh, they would have like 30 some beers on tap and all they served was like roast beef sandwiches and coleslaw. That's it. Or maybe mac and cheese and something like that. But like food is very limited. It was primarily beer. People would come there just to, to drink. You got beer. a creaky fucking chair over there. Huh? You got a creaky chair. That's my throat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so on Fridays, uh, we would cut our day short for work and we'll be like, all right. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's go out for wow. <laughs> roast beef. Uh, beef. Let's go out for beef curtains and beer. <laughs> Gross beef. <laughs> Gross beef. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. What is happening to you, man? No, too many fucking gases. CO two. Yeah. So you got to pour it slower. Oh yeah, the guy who just <laughs> <laughs> poured a, a big ass head. Mm. By the way, you're gonna win. Am I? Yeah. That's your fourth beer, right? What do you, what do you want? Is that your third? Oh, okay. Wait, I'm going to win. Your fourth, I'm on my third. I'm going to be on my fifth in a minute here. Three, two, one. Okay. Frank, okay. Frank, Frank won pound round. But it, we, we have something for that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is for five you daddies, right? Okay. Is that, is that what 
we're saying? Five U Daddies, yeah. Frank has been looking forward to this. He had dreams about it, fantasies, and he's all, been preparing. All of that. All of the above. He's just, yeah, I mean, he's been so excited. I kind of just had to let him win this one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. All right, well. Because I, I just, I didn't want to take, rob him of that happiness. So there, there's so. there's five you daddies, so. Anybody can see so. on YouTube that I'm just taking my time with right, my drink. Right. I'm not rushing. Yes. Yeah, not so pulling any tricks. You're not, you're not rushing. Yeah. You're, 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 yeah. You're not Putin's daughter. No, I'm not. <laughs> so. Uh, there you go. Let it out. That wasn't okay. me. That was me. Yeah. Um. So, I was talking about something else. I'm gonna get you back to this. You yeah. were mentioning. No, no, I get that. Oh, okay. But um, what were you talking about? I'm gonna say. Right now, if you had to lie to anybody about you letting me win, who would it be? <laughs> that was quick. I know. You just I, see me back. I, actually, like, <laughs> I actually give you that was quick. You daddy. That's right. I lied to you, daddy. That's right. Before you daddy's <laughs> left. I'm gonna fucking put it here. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so but I'm funnier than you, so Pew. I'll fucking use another you daddy on that right now, man. No, no, wait, don't, hey, don't waste them. Why but, would you waste them? But there was already a you're not funny than me, right? Funnier than me? Wasn't there some we had on one of these one of these talks? What? What are you talking about? I thought we had a podcast. You're the you... one who said that I'm funnier than you. I'm, why would I say that? It was a you daddy. I said you got a smaller dick than me. That's probably no. pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> In one episode, you know more about my dick than I do. That's scary. It was a quick episode. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a short episode. <laughs> um, Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to. F- I got to finish my four. So... Uh, real quick, or not? Not quick, <laughs> or not real quick. This, uh, so the the Cicerone program, right? Yes. Yeah, and, and you know, I'm sorry if people just don't give a shit about it, but real quick, it's it's a uh, it's a it's a pretty good deal. I mean, f- the way it's set up, it's you know, people grade tests, and they have lots of people that grade these tests so that someone can't be like, oh, I, I really like Roman, I'm just gonna give pass them, you know. The, the way they do this, it's like multiple people grade it. It takes like mm-hmm. six weeks to get your test back, you know, and you can take the tasting and in, in, in the written part separately. Mm-hmm. But uh, what I was saying was that there's a, there's a, a road to Cicerone program that kind of helps. There's a syllabus and there's a program that kind of helps you. You can uh, file these modules and you get a test at the end of each module, you know, so yeah. But there's also a gentleman named Chris Cohen. Mm-hmm. And that's who I. That's who I. Uh, I bought a program from him to help with the certified beer server thing, and uh, he is not affiliated with uh, the Cicerone program, mm-hmm. but he is, I think, going for his advanced Cicerone certification now. He used to own, I think, Old Devil Moon Brewery. Yep. In in. In California, somewhere I'm not sure of the city. I think it closed actually last year. Uh, but he's a great guy. Uh, he so beerscholar.com dot com is him, mm-hmm. um, and I and I I he has some tutorials and and, and videos you watch and, they, and it's outlined and you click next, you go to the next video and then there's quizzes and it's just a pretty cool alternative to the Cisrom program. Um, you know, we're not endorsed by any of these people or sponsored by any of these people. I'm just so he just up. he just put like a program together that uh, that helps. Yeah, if you go to his website, it was, I think it just kind of explains that he was a little, um, not frustrated, but when he was trying out for, or, you know, taking these exams for the Cicero like There weren't enough resources, and yeah. so he put something So he together. developed, yeah. That's cool. But good guy to listen to. Um, yeah. Super knowledgeable. What's his name again? Chris Cohen, C-O-H-E-N. Does he have a YouTube channel? He does. Cool. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll tag all this, but... You know, if people are interested in like the the Cicerone exam, Cicerone exam for certified beer server was eighty bucks, mm-hmm. and then you get two tries. So when you become uh, a certified Cicerone, are you like registered in some kind of a database? Once you become a pseudo- certified Cicerone, but not the certified beer server. Yes, certified Cicerone. So once you're certified Cicerone, can you be picked for any like um, to be like a judge for beer contests? Yep. Well. Uh, so not solely based on the 
uh, Cicerone but also certification. Like, uh, you got to be a, a certified beer judge. Oh, okay. So, so judges have different uh, that's a different category. Yeah, and that's a whole different program. Oh. That's a whole different program from this. Like, this is really geared towards people that are in the industry or, or you know, have made a career out of this or something like I just thought it'd be fun. The first part was fun. I just don't know if the yeah, certified get some, get some Cicerone knowledge. Yeah. On that? Yeah. I don't know if the certified Cicerone piece is going to be wholly beneficial to us as a business. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's just interesting nonetheless. So like maybe I'll tool around here. I got some resources. Maybe I'll, maybe it's going to take two years. If I, if I decide to even do it, I don't fucking know. I mean, yeah. I mean, if they want to give me 50% for saying, well, you're pretty fucked our, up. We feel bad for you. Then that's cool. I think cool. it's up to our listeners. <laughs> Why <the> listen? <laughs> our subscribers. Well, they're not. They're not even fucking paying for it. <laughs> if they subscribe. Uh, well, no, since it, we're talking about beer, we won't put that on there. It's just, it is what it is. You know? Since we're talking about beer, how many men does it take to open a beer? Eight. None. It should be open by the time she brings it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I, I got that one wrong on the exam. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was question number eleven. Yeah, right. <laughs> are these are these questions like uh, multiple, multiple? So for the certified beer server, they're they're multiple choice. There's sixty questions, I believe it is, and you've got to get seventy five percent of them right. Seventy five percent. But it, it is pretty cool. I mean. For people that are interested in it, it just gives you some knowledge, and it's you know it's it, it is cool. But it, you choose it or not. Like so, some people in the industry, in in this in this beer industry or alcohol industry, whatever you call it, uh, it's it's they're looking to hire people with this sort of accreditation. Yeah, so to do what? Uh, uh, whatever the maybe maybe you're a high end restaurant that wants a certified cicerone on your staff, or an advanced cicerone. Like for like to do what? What, what there's food pairings and there's all kinds of oh, shit like okay. this like. Okay. Um, but also maybe you're running the tap room and you need to know the cleanliness of, mm -hmm. of your equipment and what that schedule is. And like, I mean, some people are hiring for that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not really probably the that's route I'm going to go as a career. Because that's interesting you said that because <clears throat> um, I was just reading up for some ideas on like how to create more content. And um, that is an interesting for thing. For us? Yeah, for us. Like oh. what, what else can we do, right? So pairing food with beer. It's was, a pretty big piece. Yeah. Well, so as you get more, <clears throat> as you get higher, there's, there's, there's really not much of this talked about. In, uh, there's, there's a little bit of it talked about in the, in the certified beer server exam, mm -hmm. but nothing on the exam. Mm -hmm. But as you get further, like uh, the, the master Cicerone is a two-day class uh, in person. Hmm. Like, Two full days, and a lot of as you get, even even the certified beer server, there's more pairings than from there the advanced this round. There's more pairings, so then from there it goes to the uh, you know master level. But there it's it's pretty big. But it's um I would never want to be a master. I, not that I could even you know accomplish that, but probably not even advanced. But I'll, maybe certified. I'll tell you what, you're on the right track because you also look like a cicerone. Well, with a helmet on or without the helmet on. Without, oh, okay, yeah. cool. with it, with the helmet, you look like. So a if I shave, moron. I don't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Sorry, I had you. <laughs> <laughs> so without, <laughs> without the beard, I, I couldn't be a cicerone. Yeah, no, like that look right there, minus uh, the headphones, you look like a cicerone. <laughs> no, I'm gonna with the, the headphones, you look like a cicerone does a podcast. I'm gonna shave my head like you, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. get headphones tattooed no, on. No, don't do that. I'm gonna get tattoos. Head doesn't headphones. that doesn't count? Why? Because if you tattoo that on, then nobody's gonna talk to you because they're gonna think you're not listening <laughs> to you. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. And you're going back to a moron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm regressing. Okay. Um, what do you see when Pillsbury Doughboy bends over? Uh, I don't know this one. Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a funny. I have a funny story about Pillsbury Doughboy. So, <laughs> when I was dating my wife at that time, um, your wife at that time, when. My wife, wife and I were dating, yeah. 
at the at the time where we're dating when we're married yet. Is that is that the right? Nah. All right. I'm I'm a fucking moron. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll with the helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> don't don't get don't get emotionally hurt. I have sad I, horns. You know I still love you. I have sad horns. And your horns. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. We should so, so where are you going? Where you take it up? Oh, oh. Boom. See? Back in action, bitch. Back in. So what do you do with the headphones then? I wait for your story. You hear me okay? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you got a voice and I got ears. <laughs> well, that's I know. Your ears are covered with a helmet and you got horns and... I can't hear you just fine. Okay, that's good. I just can't hear me. Like, I can hear me fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just... You can't you, hear you. You don't hear the headphone hear me. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Oh, put the headphones over. I want to see what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to take a picture. We're going to post this on Instagram. <laughs> Talk a yeah, little like bit. Yeah, like that. I can't hear anything. <laughs> Hold I, on. I can't hear. Hold on. Look, can you leave it there? Can you leave it there? I can't, I can't no, hear. No, put it on. My horns are Just upset. for the picture. This is going to go on the Instagram. <laughs> I got a selfie on. <laughs> can you let go? Of what? Headphones. They're going to fall off. <laughs> Watch. I'll do it. All right. <laughs> Okay. All right, it's going. You're not going to go. fucking fap to this later, are you? It's going to go on Instagram. Fap, 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 fap. <laughs> no, that's what fat means. I get it. <laughs> All right. What was I saying? I forgot. I don't know. <sighs> About your wife and you dating? When oh you yeah, were... Pillsbury Doughboy story. So, my wife and I went on the date. Uh, we were in South Boston. There's a Irish pub. It's called Lockies. And um, <clears throat> so we were at Lockheed's with a friend of mine who introduced me to to my wife. And so we're... That's really how you guys met the first time? Like never? Like before that? We met through a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. So my friend who I worked with and his his wife worked with my... At Lockheed's? That's where you first met? Where? The... No, Lockheed's was like our, our first date. Oh. Like an official date we went on. We knew each other from like parties. We saw each other oh, okay. at parties. Okay. Our first date was at Lucky's, and I got lucky. Is, um, is okay. Is it <laughs> is it lucky or lucky? Lucky, like luck. L U C K. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was L O C K. No. How about F U C K? But when you look at me, like <laughs> <laughs> you're looking at me like I got a fucking Viking helmet on or something. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> You need to hold one of these. <laughs> this probably got gummies in it, right? <laughs> there you go. There you yeah, go. Okay. I dropped the tit magnet. No, that's a tit opener, right? That's a <laughs> that's a tit bottle opener. The booby the booby bottle. That's a busty bottle opener. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So um, you guys were at Lockies. So we're <laughs> we're at this uh, lounge, and then. My friend who introduced me to her, we were standing there, we were talking. I don't know how it came up, but he like pressed on my belly and he goes, he, and I was like, I didn't get it. <laughs> so I pressed on his belly, I go, he, he. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there's so many problems here. If you don't know me and you don't know what happens, if I touch your dick, you're going to touch uh, mine? No, I didn't say dick. I said he Right, but I'm saying, belly. Dick, like you just did something he did to you. No, well, no, we know each other. Oh, okay. We work together. All right. yeah, and and he just cool. like poked me in the belly and goes, hee hee. And I go, I don't get it. So I poked him in the belly. I go, hee hee. He goes, come on, Pillsbury Doughboy. He goes, hee hee. I go, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have Pillsbury growing up there. I didn't know who Pillsbury Doughboy was. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was like they all started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's every time we Pillsbury Doughboy comes so, out. What's your we, wife we say? Think of, she was laughing. Like, were you, did you have like a little belly or something? Like, why did you do that? Oh, I didn't have a belly. I had a six pack. Um, and he wasn't touching your belly. <laughs> he, <laughs> he was, was pointing your dick, laughing. That's what he, he, he. That's what was, <laughs> he so small. He's touching a little fucking. He was booze touching button. my donuts. He's touching a little booze, booze button. Boop. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that's that story. <laughs> Oh, and this is funny too. So I moved here to Syracuse area, and then did you hit record on that camera? 
Okay, cool. Recording. I see the red light. So, um, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you're. I know exactly. Dropping pieces in the in the no. in the toilet. That was really like a chunky that pour. Like, more like I was spanking my monkey. A chunky. Oh, I got pour. a funny story. So I can understand that. that. I was spanking your monkey. So for this. hold on, let me finish. I go like this. I go. <laughs> <laughs> let me finish the luckies one. So, I was at Target. And we were shopping, and I went to like clearance section, and there was a T-shirt that said uh, "Lockie's Lounge, Boston." Oh, cool! And I was like, well, "What are the fucking chances?" Like, like up here? Yeah. yeah. So I bought it. It was like just one hanging, and so I bought that, and I wore it till there were like fucking <gasps> holes in it. For what? <laughs> For what? Did you say for what? You said I wore that and I and the kids last part until there were holes in it and I threw it away. Oh, well, because it was probably extra small. You yeah. wear these really tight fucking. They shirts. shrunk because the dry. No, I think you wear these tight shirts. <laughs> you wear belly shirts. <laughs> what does that mean? It shows your fucking belly. <laughs> That's why the guys like. Hee, hee, hee. Like what was that other story? You're made I... for an extra large, but you wear a fucking medium. Well, what is it I say that I said? Uh, what is <laughs> What is it that I say that I said? <laughs> I'm going to say that I'm a beer number like six. A, isn't that like a Nicki Minaj song? What? I say what I say. <laughs> Taylor Swift, really? Hold on. What the There fuck? was something else you mentioned, and I said I have a story about that too. What was I, it? I can't even concentrate. You mentioned Taylor Swift. I can't concentrate because your head is shrunk in that fucking helmet. <laughs> You should have a you like the you look a fucking uh, um what's that guy from X Men? Oh, Magneto. Professor, no, Xavier or whatever. Oh yeah, he. So so is he the one in the wheelchair? Yeah, yeah. Magneto is the other guy. Yeah, yeah. So hmm. you're a Magne- you Magneto. You look like Professor Kojak. That was my nickname. You know who Kojak is? Who? It was a uh, Telly Savalas. He was an actor like in the uh, 70s, maybe early 80s. I don't I don't really even know what his job was. I think it was like a detective or a police officer, but he was bald. Mm. So, no. Tully's a pretty cool name. Tully? T E L L Y. Tilly? Tilly? T E L L Y. Oh, not you, not Tali. Not or not I, not Tilly. <laughs> Tally. <laughs> Fuck man, this helmet's making you all it's messed just, up because I think you're so excited. strange for me to you look. You wanna wear it? You. Oh, put it on, Roman. <laughs> I will share my helmet with you. Is is uh what's his name? Phil? Phil gonna be okay with that? He doesn't care. He shares a lot of shit with me. <laughs> It's going to be loose on you, man. And then just push the eye things up inside right here. Is this inside, right? Yeah, but inside your eyes, push these things up. There you go. Push There you go. And then just pull it down a little bit over your nose. That's a big fucking nose. Bar. <laughs> Don't stretch it out. <laughs> my, my. <laughs> but look at the camera. That's my. pretty cool. My proportion of my proportion, uh, <laughs> fuck, I can't proportion. Say. Yes, thank you. Of yeah. my nose and eyes don't match yours or this. Mask. Yeah, he, so he sent that to us. It worked out great, but we got to get you one. We'll get you like a warrior one, and then our neck, our pound round four will be like wearing these. But I feel nasally when I wear it. Yeah, it sounds. Well, you don't because your nose doesn't fucking fit in. in it. There's a lot of echo in this. <laughs> I I have like a a tiny head. <laughs> I'm like fucking Beetlejuice. I did this with the fucking... Do you know who Beetlejuice is? Yeah. From uh, Howard Stern? Oh, yeah, that guy. I thought you were talking about... <laughs> no, no, I wasn't King. talking... <laughs> is he still alive? Beetlejuice? I think so. The guy from Howard Stern? Yeah. He was part of uh, Whack Pack, right? Yeah. I used, to, I used to listen to a lot of Howard Stern, but now I just... Uh, I yeah, I kind of like lost interest. Why does he care? He's got all that fucking serious X of money and stock. Out. He don't give a fuck. I mean, and plus he's got to be like 70, right? I don't know. I'm going to see. And then there was that problem with that Imus guy. Oh, shit. What's that? I don't know. I think I said something, and the Siri thought I was talking to it. <laughs> so it said 8 times 70 is 78. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, eight, eight, 70, 
Well, uh, 70 plus 8. Well, say seven. Siri, how old is Howard Stern? Siri. Or no. And you have to say, hey, Siri. Holy shit, there's a lot going on here. Hang on. Hey, Siri. How small is Roman's dick? <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> like it says, I don't know how to, at the bottom, I don't know how to respond to that. I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> that means she can't calculate. It doesn't go that small. Too small. I told you it was in World, world Record Guinness Book. <laughs> okay, so are you looking up Howard Stern? No, I thought you were. Well, Siri was and went to your dick. What? Hey, Siri. How old is Howard Stern? Howard Stern is 70 years old. 70. Fuck, like, where, I, I said it in my phone and the fucking iPad, listen. Or her, <sighs> yeah. It's a lot of beers. Yeah. Um, Six. Done. Bye. Hey, we need, to, we need to give our listeners um, coupon code. Yes, I'm sorry about this. Right. We yeah. forgot about this. Yeah. So drink and white craft. Thank you very much. Drink and white To Chad and, and um, um, his delivery driver. I don't, I don't want to mention his name, but um, yeah, thank you. So drink and white craft for our New York state listeners. Mm-hmm. You get 10% viewers. off. You get 10% off if you use coupon code bruise and banter. All, yeah. all bruise. Letter a, N. A, a, a N D. Oh, A N D. Bruise A N D banter, all capitals. You get ten percent off your purchase and um, uh, through that website. So we thank him, and uh, you know we we recently bought a, a case of stuff that we're gonna review on. on yeah, we also podcast. bought um, the twenty five days of the twenty four beers of holiday cheer. Yeah, yeah, we but bought it, through them, which is yeah, it's really nice service um, that they provide, and there's a lot of. Um, options, a lot of breweries on, on his website. Yeah, so he's a re- really great guy, um, you know, Chad, and, and uh, he also owns uh, Third, Sp- Third Space Distribution. We've talked about, so you could catch him on our Patreon. Yep. We've got an interview with him just discussing his business and the mm-hmm. and the Bine Yard Hop Farm and uh, just, a, you know, the beer community, is, it, it's 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 a, whatever you want to, wh- however you want to describe it, it's a it's a it's a very small, large community or a very large, small community. Mm-hmm. Everybody's pretty tight. Everybody knows everything. And, uh, but either way, the, for this, the New York State listeners only because you the license only allows you to ship within New York State. Yeah, and and his concentration uh, of his business in, is in New York State. He wants to bring a lot of um, uh, craft breweries to your restaurants, to bars. And um, so his goal is to really... De- Spread the spread the uh, beers of of, yeah. of of craft brewery, but it works out good. Like throughout you, the state, you've got these people in, in New York City, like 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 Single Cut or mm-hmm. or Big Al, as we did before. Mm-hmm. Uh, but wherever you are, I mean, we've got people in New York. We got people all over the, all over the world listening to us. Mm-hmm. But if you don't want to, you know, if you're if you're in Syracuse where we are, and you don't want to go to New York City to get something, mm-hmm. go to drinknycraft.com. Yeah, use that code brews and banter and, and get the 10% off and you can get that sent to you instead of making the trip down. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Just, just so it's not confusing because we, our Instagram page says letter N. Yeah. So it's brews A N D banter for the uh, coupon for code. the 10% off coupon yeah. code. Yeah. We, in, in the reason for our brews N banter versus our brews and banter is because there was someone that has occupied the name yes, previous to us, but you know, we legally own what we own now. Yeah, our our uh, podcast is LLC, so uh, legally we are Bruise and Banter, but for social media purposes, mm-hmm. unfortunately, that was taken. So, but if we can get this fucking blue check, that helps us out too. Yes, yeah. So hopefully we'll we'll get there. So we're on episode forty eight. Yep, episode forty eight. Uh, episode uh, fifty is going to be an exciting one. Episode 50 yep. for, for everybody listening is going to be in a special location. We're going to celebrate doing that. Mm-hmm. We've decided to go on location somewhere that you have to uh, listen to us to find out. Yeah. And we'll have some of our Instagram followers join us. And and, yeah, and chances are we will be inebriated. <laughs> there's a, there's a, high, there's a good chance. chance of that. There's a high chance. And I, just so everybody knows, you daddies are travelable. Like these go where we go. Yeah. The you daddies are not limited to the studio. Like we could be at a restaurant yeah, and you could be talking to the waitress and I'm like, tell the waitress whose dick you'd suck. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and you'd have to say you, daddy. Like that, That's the way this works. I just didn't know that you would go that far. No, I'm going as far as I can go. I don't know. Do I need to get your wife's approval for that? No. No? No, I'll get it first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go there. <laughs> so... Yeah, that that episode fifty, the milestone, and we'll do it again for hundred. Yeah, you know, but um, we travel for you guys. We we go to places. We try to come up with uh, cool content, interesting, interesting, um, you know, posts and and episodes and information, beer, and get um, get fun people onto the podcast and and, and interviews. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of work that goes behind it, so. Uh, and and, and other, every, other people know this too. Yeah, yeah every are. every support is highly appreciated. Whether it's a follow on social media um, or a subscription on on Patreon, a like, any comment, like, anywhere, comments, interactions, uh, getting together. Even like if you're in the area where we are or where we're going, we reached out. You reached reached out back to us and want to get together. All of that is, is really appreciated because I actually we absolutely takes, love uh, to meet people. Yeah, yeah it, it it takes a community to um, to be supportive and help one another. So I think I'm seven. Hmm? I think I'm a number seven. All right, congratulations to Frank with his win on um, pound round. Shit, we're on beer. Out of this beer, we yeah. got. And we're gonna thank all of our listeners, yeah. subscribers followers um we we thank you we appreciate you guys this is what keeps keeps us going yep thank you to chad and my craft thank you yeah thank you chad for providing that uh, discount uh 10 percent code mm-hmm. for for our listeners yeah so if, if you really you want to support local do that for sure yeah, and if you're in new york state that's that's your opportunity right there mm-hmm. uh, and um looking forward to our 50th episode yeah so it's it's in a it's in a couple of weeks, and um, you know, again, there's there's a lot of a lot of things going on. So we're gonna we're we're gonna, we're gonna uh, continue with the uh, podcast with friends. You know, yeah. we'll have some other people in here. Yeah, but we're also uh, we've got some interviews scheduled that we're gonna do for our 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 Patreon. Uh, continue that for yes. people that want to spend that five dollars a month to see the brewery tours and the, and the um, interviews with the brewery owners, but. Probably. <laughs> Sorry, that was a delay. Uh, probably, you know, we we would expand that to other business owners and and, and maybe other people as well uh, to include on Patreon, not just limited to bre- yeah, not, uh, breweries. Yeah, not 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 just brewers, but local businesses who a sm- small business. You know, they're just working hard, trying to provide jobs locally, um, providing whether it's services or or product that's made here in the U.S. Uh, we'd love to have you on. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you own a small business or product, small production, um, whatever it is, co- yeah, contact us. Even certainly, unique shit would be pretty cool. Like just, I, I think know. stories are are so unique and important to to listen to it and, and appreciate these people because um, it's there's history behind it. You know, like um, it's it's unique to each each person, each each business. Mm-hmm. There was there's a background to why they decided, uh, what the journey was, what brought them to it, and uh, it's fun. We need to share this and uh, support those people. Yeah, but it's interesting. I mean, so it is. It's interesting to us for sure, right? Mm-hmm. But maybe people listen to us. Like interesting, but it's it's going away. There's there's not a lot of people that 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 care deeply about history, uh, old history. But even recent history, like I started this business last year. Mm-hmm. Let's hear about it. You know, like that's pretty cool stuff, like uh, people's stories. But I think a lot of it can inspire people to do their own thing as well. Yeah. Like maybe they didn't realize the backstory and, oh, my God, I'm, I'm kind of similar to that. Like I never wanted to do anything because I didn't know if I, if it would be viable if I could. But like mm-hmm. maybe it is. That's true. It could be an a, an encouragement to to someone who had the idea to do it. But just couldn't pull the trigger mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and uh, maybe hearing some of the success stories or even some struggles before success uh, can encourage them to proceed and, and move forward with it and and, and chase their passion but and, it's fun and, and their dream absolutely make it fun I mean I, I I go out of my way trying to get like US made stuff mm-hmm. like my head is shaved I didn't buy 
that palm shaver I every see with social like the, media website thing, has. Yeah. yeah. They're all made in China. Like it kind of no. looks like a massager. Like I yeah. want to put on my back. They actually instead. have attachments that are like yeah. massagers. So I got and two I, balls I'm, and a dick. I get the three head thing. You can do that too. Yeah. And I'm oh. not on a shaving part because yep. that's done. Just uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think they they sell ejaculation shields, but uh, it's that's washable. what the mask is for. It's washable. <laughs> so yeah, like I, I'm I'm looking to find, and if anybody knows, yeah. please email us or or message us on social media if you know of a any shaver for your head. That is made in U.S. I will gladly go and buy it right yeah. now. But and what we're doing is not like we're not looking just for free shit. Like no, no, no. We, I, I'm going to buy it. Want, yeah, we definitely yeah. want to promote these things that we can promote that make sense to for promote. Sure. You know. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it and then I will give my honest opinion on it. Mm-hmm. If I like it, great. If I don't, I'll I'll well, say then, what I don't like and what I do like. But that's limited um, to the shaver. I'm talking about anything. Yeah. Yeah. Any, <laughs> yeah. And if there is a company that wants to promote the u.s made product um we're happy to do the review and and, and post it and as long as we get to be honest about it because yeah. i right. i'm not doing anything script yeah no I and mean, this whole thing like you know, so we we're we're growing you know mm-hmm. we grow and and we're getting more and more listeners more and more viewers and people that maybe don't know the backstory maybe maybe people jumping in now they don't they don't they didn't catch the first 10 15 mm-hmm. 20 episodes whatever we don't script anything no it just no. this is what we do. Like me and Roman, it, to be one hundred percent honest today, me and Roman are sitting like, okay, let's get ready. Let's 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 look at this brewery. Let's see what the history is. Let's, let's so we got some talking points. Let's let's do that. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, you got anything to talk about? I'm like, I don't. Know. You got anything to talk about? No. Now we're like an hour and a half into this fucking thing. Yeah. Whatever we are. I had no idea hmm? that I would have to close my eyes and open them to a surprise of oh, like, yeah. wearing the, the next Viking time you're gonna, helmet. You're gonna open them to a surprise of. Um, <laughs> I don't want that. Yeah, no. The no only way. thing was certain is that I would scale back on my speed of how fast I'm drinking. You can't to allow Frank to have nope. his happiness. You cannot. And so, you already admitted on the first you, Daddy. No. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. That you was already you forgot. Daddy. You fucking two beer queer. <laughs> <laughs> is this plan getting bigger? It is bigger. Yeah. <laughs> No, thanks, everybody. Right. Th- thanks for allowing us to have fun doing yeah. this, for sure. Yeah, we, yeah. we appreciate you guys, really, truly. Um, thank you. Mm-hmm. And uh, till next time. Yes, sir. All right. Bye, mm-hmm. you guys. Hey, Hopheads. Frank here. And Roman. Welcome to Brews and Banton, the podcast where we sip and spill the funniest stories over a cold one. We're not just brewing laughs and comedy. We also discuss life stories and current events in every episode. Follow the frolic on our socials, where we brew up more than just banter check out linktree forward slash bruise and banter for all the goods and guess what we've got a vip section join our patreon for exclusive content behind the scenes brew secrets and maybe even a blooper reel or two subscribe laugh and unlock the full bruise and banter experience because life is too short for bad beer and boring stories cheers <laughs> <laughs>